good, my good people? It's your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Um, lo and behold, guess what I have here? A new toy. Meter. Um, I've been looking at some reviews on YouTube. Yes, I watch other people. Um, no one person knows it all, in my opinion. Um, I just opened this part of it. And um, we're going to go through this real quick in reference to the meter block. Uh, let's see. I will take out a card real quick. Costco. Open it up. And, uh, go from there and see what this thing look like, y'all. Uh, instruction. Who needs that? Um, yeah. There we go, y'all. Uh, yeah, I might need to read this real quick. But this is all, uh, let y'all see it. The meter, we're gonna put this thing to the test, so y'all stay tuned. Um, four inserts, they are wireless. Let me pull one out real quick. From what I've seen on videos, um, it does two things. It gives you two different temps. One of the inside of the meat, um, I believe right here um, is where you stop. It's a little line once I take this uh, plastic off. And uh, this this portion right here with the number on the end of it, actually that's pretty cool. They got numbers on the bottom of it. Yep. So you can identify which piece of meat or on the grill grate, which one you are actually reading on your uh, readout. So y'all stay tuned, man. We're gonna do a video on this thing. I believe these need to be charged up. So stay with me. We're gonna charge this thing up. And then we're gonna do a review, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, we back this handy dandy uh device the meter um which i've heard so much about uh, of course i had to break down the instructions so i can figure out exactly what it is i'm doing um so without further ado first thing we have to do is open the back right pretty simple uh actually i don't know if that's magnetic or what but it fits in there pretty snug pretty easy uh there's a tab on here that four double a batteries and you are required to remove this tab right what that does is it requires you to uh start charging this thing apparently i gotta wait about eight hours for it to start charging as you can see it just came on when i did that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn it off um so it can charge let's say wait about eight hours and it'll it'll charge up these probes um the connections at the bottom um we're gonna go from there what I'm going to do is, in the meantime, we're going to talk about it real quick, and then we'll come back um, while it's charging, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to download the app, and then we're going to go through the app and see what it, uh, the functionality is of that. But uh, needless to say, there's two ways to charge this thing, man. I like this. Uh, the battery way, which I just showed you, and then there is a, if you move this, this clip, and you got it sitting on this base, there's a micro USB right here that you can plug in to charge it up as well. So it works both ways, batteries or micro USB. And the benefit of this is, if I have my AA batteries in there, from what they say, uh, obviously I'm gonna stress test everything, but from what they say is, if the battery's in there and I got it plugged into the micro USB, it will not, um, well one, the probes won't charge uh, with the micro USB, it'll just charge the unit. And secondly, uh, you reserve your battery power while you're charging it with the micro USB. So food for thought, if you got a cable, I got a thousand of these things sitting around um, from Apple to Android cables. Uh, there's plenty of micro USB around here for that, that matter. But for today, I'm just gonna let it run on battery, charge it for about eight hours. I'll probably come back tomorrow because eight hours, it might be dark, I don't know. It's around 10.30ish here. Uh, definitely want to talk to you in the sunlight. But anyway, needless to say, we're gonna do that and we'll be back, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow after this thing charges up. So stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is a new day. It's hot as I don't know what. Look like the hottest day of the year so far, but whatever. All right, y'all, we're gonna make this real simple. We're gonna go through these steps. Um, I just downloaded the app, created me an account. I'm gonna click on the app, and we're gonna turn this thing on. Um, we're gonna go through this together, y'all, to see just how simple this meter is to uh, get configured. All right, I hit power. Oh, there we go. All right. This is select. Use Wi-Fi or standalone. 
on the app, I'm gonna select meter block because that's what I have. Yeah, I agree. We'll come back and read that later. This is talking about the sensors, y'all. Real quick. These right here, the highest you can get a reading on is 212. If you're cooking anything over 212, you probably shouldn't be using this anyway. I don't think there's a piece of meat that you would be cooking over 212 anyway. And then for the uh, the bottom of the, the probe, which is the ambient air, the air in the actual uh, grill, it's about 527 degrees. So that's not bad for actual little little device or a little pin that's wireless. I'm gonna hit continue. I've already done the batteries. Uh, yep, tells you to select uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit. I've done that already. Yep. Then it tells you to charge it. All right, I've already charged it. And now I need to continue to do Bluetooth. Hit allow for Bluetooth. Keep it together. Uh, Wi-Fi permission is required to connect your meter to the app. You continue. Hit allow. Notifications. About to cook. You hit continue. Allow. Of course, I want to know. Critical alert. Uh, sure. Why not? That's an iPad. It says power on the block. Use Wi-Fi. Did that already and let's see what happened let's see if this thing is as simple as it says y'all what do y'all think oh meter block found look at there i don't know if y'all can see that actually let me take this out the box and make it easier for you it says meter block found i'm gonna hit continue wi-fi search Searching for the Wi-Fi. Oh man, I gotta remember my password. Oh man, we gonna wait to see. It's searching for Wi-Fi network. Oh, uh, yep. Found mine. All right, this part I gotta hide my password, y'all. Hold on. Uh, hopefully this is it. on baby connect hopefully this is it i had used a added a password in a, a minute it's connecting oh wow makes you complete look at that congratulations let's get started let's just look at the app real quick uh a software update is available hit install start the update oh it's updating the meter block this is interesting. Ironically, um, it tells me they actually push updates to this. That's a good thing, y'all. So, I guess we're going to let this thing update, and then we'll be back. So, stay, stay tuned to this finished update, and then we'll go over the rest of it. And then, send you on your way. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the update is, look like it's finished. I got checks over here just to show you what how it looks in the case you buy one. It says download complete. It says update is in process. It'll take a couple minutes and the block will restart. The block has restarted already, so I'm gonna hit got it. Now look at here. Now, of course, there's four four probes, and I'm gonna show you this right here, real quick. Each one has a number on the bottom of it to identify, so you know when you're looking into meat if you forgot where you position it. Smart move on their behalf. Um, because I know I've I've had to trace some wires when I was using the wires version of my other probes and it looked like it's pretty simple you got cook one two three and four let's just click click on one look at that internal temp is uh 88 88 degrees uh let's cook and yeah, watch later let's see here we're gonna scroll through look at that tap the setup cook All right i hope y'all can see this we're going through this Cook setup. You gotta go through this. Pick your meat. Got it. Got it. Got it. Man, this sucks. Look like you gotta do this for the very first time. I'm hoping. I hope I don't have to do this every single time. Yeah, I got it. Understand. We're just gonna put it at uh 
I don't know, brisket temp 205. Let's see what happens. All right, continue. All right. Man, you got to go through all these videos, man. So stay tuned. We're going to fast forward this part. All right, everybody, we back. Now, take this probe out. It says it's about 90 degrees internally right now on this. I'll remove these eventually. Uh, tap to set up my cook. Let's see how easy it is. We're going to do beef. Uh, let's see here. Doing brisket. Look at that. Brisket's already pre-programmed. Look at that. Two, 200. As simple as me doing this. I'm going to do 5, 205. Start cooking. There's a video on how to insert the probe. Tells you where to put your meter block. And look at that. Internal, my target. And I don't have an ambient yet, just yet. These are warnings saying the uh, estimated time for the target temp might be inaccurate. I always cook my briskets to 205 um, and then go from there. So I'm not sure what's up with the ambient. So it says the ambient temperature is too low to display your reading. Um, so obviously, I'm gonna click more information just so I can maybe give you something on it. So it looks like it has to come up to a certain temp before you get anything. Uh, let's see here. It said ambient temperature will only appear once you get to cook, once you're cooking the meat and determines the time uh, when this is above 40 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is Fahrenheit, but once it gets above that, then it'll obviously show up. So there you have it, y'all. It's pretty simple. Look at this cook duration: 59 minutes. It actually, from what they say, it's supposed to adjust automatically, so you have a better idea of how long it takes to cook the meat and not just you know, just cook until a certain temperature. So if you're planning for uh, cooking and you got an event going on, and especially with a brisket, you want to rest it. I personally rest mine about six hours in a cooler. That's just because I have one of those insulated coolers, um, thoroughly insulated coolers. Let me rephrase that. Because I got an El Cheapo um, that has a name on it. I won't say the name and uh, it's not that good. But anyway, I do have a big cooler that I put it in. I let it rest for about six hours, let the juice flow into it. If you got a cheap one, you can do two hours. But I like to just give it an opportunity to, uh, for the juices to flow in there. Um, that's just me. You ever had food that you cook it and it tastes pretty good today, but the next day is just outstanding? That's why I let it sit for six hours. You wrap it in a towel, stick it in the cooler, set it up to get it, and come back and it's still piping hot. Trust me, if you got to insulate it, anything, when you take it out, it's piping hot. And you slice that thing and them juices flowing. We're going to do a video. That might be my next video um, in reference to testing out this joker. You can even got that little barbecue on there, even though I'm not doing anything. Uh, so this thing seems to be fairly uh, simple. Y'all stay tuned. Oh, I'll be right back. If you watch this far, I got something for some lucky person. So stand by. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right, everybody. We back, man. I promise I'm about to let you go. But if you made it this far... I'm doing a giveaway. Let me guess. What do you think is in this box? Look what it says. Meter. One of these. Unopened. Let me show you just so you know. You don't think it's the same box. Labels unopened. So it hadn't been tampered with at all. Fresh out of the box. Straight out of Prime. I got it on Amazon Prime on the 11th and the 12th of July. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this video, but uh, they were. If you look at the price, they're about three hundred dollars regular. I think they're about two forty during our Prime Day. Yeah, I spent that on it, and I bought two of them because of Kickstarter. Uh, uh, refreshing, I guess twenty twenty three. My videos, new me. On top of that, um, I got a new logo coming. I have uh, a new intro, outro coming. I'm working with somebody to uh, kind of make that happen. Um, so hopefully it looks pretty legit and y'all can come in on that and tell me what you think about that. But anyway, how we gonna do this? Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna just pick a random number and comment below if you want one. And whatever that number is, I'm gonna do one through 50. I'm just do a random number. And whoever comments 
whoever comments, and that's your actual number. So if you the fifth person to comment and I pull a five, it's yours, man. We'll talk offline and get your info. And you got one of these on the house. Uh, don't care what you do with it. Um, but that's just me giving back. So once again, this is your boy, Mr. B, doing a review of the meter. Um, and giving one away so you, hopefully you can do a review on it you know, and, and let me know how you like it or dislike it. Doesn't matter, just your honest opinion. Because we're going to stress test this thing, y'all. But anyway, without further ado, this your boy. Once again, comment below. And then I'm going to do a drawing and see who actually going to win this joker. So stay tuned. Anyway, this your boy, Mr. B, Backyard Barbecue. You already know what I'm about to say. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And holler at your boy, y'all. We back.